Alright guys, hello. How are you guys doing? Um, I wanted to jump on here real quick and um, say hello, happy spring, happy Easter, and also address um, the NAR settlement that happened recently, um, either last week or the week before. In terms of the actual changes of the NAR settlement, I think there's been a lot of misleading headlines out there saying, you know, 6% commissions are, are going away. Um, and I just wanted to point out that the commission has never been set by NAR or anybody else. It's always been negotiable between the agent and the client. And so, um, my dogs are playing in the background, so sorry about that. Um, but. It's always been a ne negotiable and commissions don't have to be 6% now um, as, as the way they are. As, as the status quo, it doesn't need to be. Um, so um, I thought I would kind of point that out and let you guys know what um, is actually coming in the changes from the settlement. And so there are two primary uh, differences and changes that are coming up starting in July if um, the settlement is approved by the court. And so these changes, this one, one change is the that the buyer's agency commission will no longer be listed on the MLS. So right now on the MLS, even on Zillow, if you go on Zillow and you look under a listing, um, within under that you can see how much the seller is offering um, as as commission to the buyer's agent. So you'll see, you know, 2%, two and a half percent, even within the Zillow um, listing. And then on our end as agents, we have the MLS um, and it also lists uh, the buyer agent's compensation on there, usually as a percentage of, this, of the sales price. And so um, come July, that will no longer be the case and you will no longer be able to put that information on uh, the MLS and so um, I guess their point is to prevent agents from um, agents from directing their clients or buyers towards certain listings because they offer more commission and I mean that shouldn't be the case anyway but you know people want to make more money all the time right so um, that's no longer going to be on the MLS but it's going to be negotiated off the MLS um, and it's going to be part of the negotiation um, the way that the buyer's agent can be compensated is going to be through either the buyer um, or the seller offering concessions at closing and even negotiating the amount so that will be part of uh, another part of negotiations and then the second change um, that I kind of alluded to is the um, the buyer um, the buyer may have to pay the commission. So starting July, buyers will have to enter agreements with agents in order to show or in order to see a home. And so I think this is great for agents and uh, clients alike because, and buyers, because it forces the buyers to choose their agent a little bit more carefully. And it will almost be like choosing a listing agent. You know, you probably interview a bunch of agents and see who's going to do the best job, see who's the right fit. And this process will also now come over to buyers where buyers are interviewing agents and seeing who they would work with. And I think this is great um, because it just raises the level of professionalism that we need to provide in our value proposition and our, um, and our value to you. Um, and so I think it's great um, and it just sets the expectations of of what the relationship is and how you guys are how we're all gonna work together so I think it's a great um, change I don't know about the commissions what's gonna happen with that and with not listing it on the MLS I don't know if anything's gonna change because nowadays, you know, my generation of people like me aren't trying to enter the market as first time home buyers. It's really hard to come up with that extra cash uh, to, you know, to pay 
for commissions and so I don't know if anything is going to change with that if sellers are just going to continue doing what they have been doing and offering um, a commission to buyers agents and it's just not going to be advertised um, on Zillow or MLS um, so we'll see I don't know how these changes will shake out but I'm optimistic that people will find the best and most effective and efficient ways to do things and so uh, we'll just all just navigate the changes as they come all right um that's all i wanted to say about the nar settlement i'm gonna include some off-market opportunities uh down below in this email in case you or any of you, uh any of your people that you know are interested in these uh properties uh, i do have other things coming down the pipeline so let me know what you're looking for and i will be able to help you guys out all right thank you for watching and i'll see you next time